Yeah, mate. How are you doing? You're right. Good to see nice you. To see you. you good? Hello, nice to see you. Have you, you met Jeb? I've never met you before. Oh, no. you we have a thing going. We do. Apparently. Where's my vegetable sandwich? What's going on? No, Come on. You look good. Uh, every, every year you seem to do this again or you're bulking up ready for the next right. role. How long can you carry on doing this? Yeah. Uh, look, it, no more than 25 years from now, really. Is, <laughs> who knows? I, I weirdly, honestly, I'm enjoying it more than ever. I mean, I, I think maybe being a little older helps with this character because he's like 200 years old in reality. I complain about it every morning, don't I? Yeah, at four o'clock, yeah, <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning, I whinge. I'm, I'm horrible about it. Takes it. a lot of discipline. But, I'm there to witness the world's most disciplined man. <laughs> but you know, I realise on this one, I just get the stunt double to do everything. I just come in for close-ups. I get the CGI so budget kidding. to change my body. It's not that bad. I actually only shot for about three and a half days on this movie. It's incredible. I knew that. Can yeah. you tell us how excited Australia is about the royal baby? Oh, they are, they're very excited, actually. We are. I thought you were going to say about the ashes. So thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, what's more exciting? I want you to do a photo of How are you guys? How difficult was it getting in shape for this role? <laughs> Harder than ever. Well, I wanted to be in better shape than ever before. Uh, which I always do, but I think I achieved that in this, and I had 18 months to prepare for it. I had Dwayne Johnson give me his diet. I rang him up, I'll never forget it, he was on set, in his trailer, and he answered the phone, he told me everything, what I have to eat, 6,000 calories a day, train for three hours a day, blah, 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 everything. There's a knock on the door on his trailer, and he answers it, and he goes, I'm talking to Wolverine, you can tell him to wait on set. Oh my God, that's about a coolest moment. I see you've got your wife here. How does yeah. she feel about you being a sex symbol now with all your sort of big leading Hollywood well, I don't. Well, every time she gets asked that question, she says, well, of course, who else would I be with? You know, but I don't think it ever really, day to day, really comes up. I try and remind my family every day that, I, you know, that I was once named Sexiest Man Alive and I should deserve more respect around the house. <laughs> I, I constantly put people magazines around the house, like in beds and bedrooms, in my kids' school bags so in case they want to show friends. It doesn't seem to work. And after, after, after playing Wolverine after all these well, years, have you become guys. a little bit like him? Have I come a little bit like him? Yeah, yeah I have. Why, well, you got a problem with that? Andrew Garfield, that's Spider-Man. Could Wolverine go gay? If he was gay, he'd be gay. If he's not, he wouldn't. Ah, uh, that's a great question. What do I love? I'm more of a sweet tooth guy. Chocolate. Can't do without it. Any kind of English treats that you like? Do you like fish and chips? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, penguins. No, I like penguins. I love penguins. I like a bit of Marmite, even though I grew up on Vegemite. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, I love... Uh, what else do I like? I like uh, mushy peas and meat pies. But we have good meat pies in Australia. Fish and chips. Love. Um, bread and butter pudding, made by my mum. <laughs> oh, how many days off do you allow yourself a week when you're dying? I, uh, about once every eight days is when I can have a meal that is a little off the program. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I read somewhere that that's okay and I took it as gospel. Yeah. Actually, I got my diet off The, the Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and every eighth, every eighth day he eats three pizzas, Four trays of chocolate fudge, fudge brownies, tequila, and I sent him back my cheat meal, and all he texted me back was like, "You're an amateur." <laughs> <That's what laughs> hey, Jim, how are we doing? Good. Mate. So thank there you. you go. I there might you do go. it while we speak. There you go. Yeah, go for it. Dude, the last time we spoke, uh, you, you sang to me actually. So, Did I? Yeah. What would the Wolverines sing like? What you... I am actually oh. clipping him. Um, it would be bad, and it would probably get me. Stones Sorry. by the fans. Now, what about what happened in Mount Fuji? We heard about this with the with the spa. What really happened there? With the, giving you the little towel. Well, they give you a little towel, right? Which I presume was I don't know what I thought, but I was dipping it in the cold water to cool myself down. I mean, everyone's naked in there. And uh, after about a half hour of getting some really strange looks, someone goes, <coughs> "Yeah." Is Wolverine hung like a wolf? Is that was that what the strange looks were? Wow, <laughs> we're just getting right to it. One I love it, Danny. Say you can ask two or three questions. We went straight to that. One last quick one. Deborah's here with you. It means yeah. a lot when you come travel. Ask her Canada. about the home. We saw you with the with the retail therapy today. Is it, yep. is, is it important to be romantic and you know bring your yeah. partner on these kind of trips? What's the key? Yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, it was a nice day for us, and let's face it, London's got great shopping. We gotta go. Ah,